Hey everyone, I'm Neil from Cartwheel. Today I'm going to tell you about the Animation Transfer Tool. It's a new feature we're offering that allows you to transfer animation directly from a Cartwheel character onto your own personal rig. This is pretty handy for a lot of people who, even though we have a great setup on our rig, you should try it out, it's nice. You might just be more comfortable with your own setup, your own rig that you've got it all set up just how you want. You may be working professionally as well, and you can't upload that rig to Cartwheel to create animation for it. But you can download animation and then put it onto your rig with this tool. It's pretty sweet and I'm excited to tell you how it works. So I previously downloaded some animation. This is a little bounce beam walk. When you download from Cartwheel, you'll want to pay attention to the settings that you have for your export settings. So Maya, in this case, I want to make sure I pay attention to, you want IK feed on or off, just make sure you remember that. That'll be important later. Most people want IK feed on. It's just much handier for changing and editing later. So do that. Once you download the animation, it'll come in like this. You have a folder, like a project folder. And then if you open up the project folder inside scripts, there'll be the animation transfer script. Cool. So to open up the script, you go to your Windows, General Editors, Script Editor, and go ahead and find that script, open it up. Go ahead and run the script. You will get this little UI that opens up. And you'll also get a new button on your custom shelf. And this is handy because if for some reason you close this window, you can just click the button. There it is. Cool, so this is the animation transfer script. If you, I previously downloaded another character, a Ninja Turtle a character named Mikey. And I really want to put this balance animation onto Mikey. So to do that, to get started, you, the most important thing is you uh, go ahead and select your main character, Axel, and you're gonna use that as the source, right up at the very top, use source. And remember when I asked you to pay attention to IK, FK settings, you just wanna make sure you have that set up correctly here. And now that you've got that selected, you are done with that character, you can put them away. And from here on out, we just worry about the new character. So let's go ahead and select, first thing you wanna do is select the pelvis, which is kind of, it's looking here for sort of the main cog control. And then spine one, let's select that. Spine two, there you go, spine three. I notice it's pretty forgiving. Uh, it's pretty smart. Like if you, some characters have different number of spine controls, and it seems to work pretty well. I'll go ahead and select the head, and when we get to the feet, because in our situation we have uh, IK feet, we're just going to use the left foot for the left IK control, and then we'll put in the knee pull vector for the knee. Okay, so the arm, left shoulder, select that. Upper arm, elbow, wrist. And now, uh, notice it's also selecting the symmetrical side, which is really handy for you and convenient. You can, you can follow along as this fills out to make sure you're on the right track. I'm gonna go ahead and select the hands here. I'll speed this up so you don't have to follow along because it'll take me a second. Cool, got the handle set up. Oh, another thing, just to, you can poke into this little carrot here and you can see the individual fingers for both hands. And we should be good to go. So last thing I'm gonna do is just show you that once you get this all set up the way you like, you can hit this little save button and you can save this for our future, and it's, it saves as a JSON, JSON file, and that's super handy. You don't have to go through and do all this again the next time. If you want to do another piece of animation, it's convenient and set up. You can also share that JSON file with your coworkers or friends, so it streamlines their workflow. And let's go back to frame one. And you want to make sure when you, when you, when you start the shot that both characters are in the T pose. This was kind of looking for to line up things. And then go ahead and hit transfer animation. And there you go. So let's, I'm gonna move Axel 
over a little bit so you can see them both playing. Check it out. Cool. So let's do another one. Let's load another shot. Let's see. Let's find. Uh... Cool. So I've got some more animation I downloaded. This one's doing like a cool flip. And I want to transfer the animation again onto this character. I've already got all this filled out, but I'll just show you if you if you don't, you can just click on that to load this all again. And make sure you're on the first frame and T characters are in the T pose and hit transfer animation. Boom. Ah, oh one thing we found out here, this shot is a little bit longer. So it goes to like frame 109. So you just gotta make sure you change that to 109. So it does the whole thing. Hit transfer animation again. And now, yeah, now it did the whole thing. Mikey has like an eye controller that I think I'm gonna first switch that to head. Hit transfer animation again. Yeah, there we go. Now his eyes are working properly. Pretty sweet. Let's try a different character. Instead of a Mikey, let's use this other one I downloaded. This character is called Gwen. So we don't have to change anything. The source is still Axel, but for the target character, we need to ch make some changes here. So let's change the pelvis to that spine one spine two spine three neck looks like the neck and then head same thing, she's got IK feet turned on, so we'll use left leg, left pull vector, and the shoulder, so shoulder, actually wait a second, is this her shoulder? No, where's her shoulder? That's her shoulder right there. Okay, so pick that for the shoulder. that for the upper arm, this for the elbow, and last but not least, this for the wrist. I'm just going to go through the fingers really quick. I'll speed this part of the video up so you don't have to watch. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go back to frame one and hit transfer. Check it out. axle off to the side so you can do a little comparison. Okay, so uh, before we wrap, there's one more thing I want to show, and that's the ability to transfer FBX directly onto your character, your rig. If you download a Maya binary file, that works, but you can also download FBX if that's simpler for you. And then the script will also allow you to transfer the FBX onto your rig. The only difference between FBX, well, it's a bunch, but one of the biggest is that it's all FK, so there's no IK. So you just want to make sure that you, you set that up correctly on your target character, but I'll show you how it works. So so right here, I have a little piece of animation on this Mark character that's a little sneak animation. Mark is all FK, and I want to transfer Mark's animation onto this Gwen character. And so, Again, because Mark is NFK, I just make sure that I have turned her from IK back to FK. So now she should operate in FK mode, which is what we want for her legs. And I have gone ahead and select, I've, I've already preloaded a setup for her. I'm just gonna load that up. And the only thing you just gotta, again, make sure you're doing is for the legs, make sure you're selecting the FK 
controllers on a target character, make sure that your arms and legs are all selected to FK. And go to the first frame and hit transfer. Looks like we're working. So I'm gonna just gonna move Mark over so you can compare the two. And that's it. Works really well. What we have noticed a couple little gotchas. Uh, one of them is that sometimes characters, they depending on how they're rigged, the elbow will be locked to a specific axis, like just just the R Y or something like that. It's perfectly reasonable to lock it like that as a rigger. I'd, I'd like it if characters have done that sometimes. But if if the target character happens to have some of the channels locked for some reason or not available. The script doesn't know how to apply those, so it just won't apply animation to those bones. So you run into a situation where it looks like it applied everything to the whole character except the elbow or except the knee, and that's just a simple fix. If you come into the, like for example, if the the the, the knee was the only thing, you just go to channel control, find those rotations, and just make sure that they are over here in the keyable area or not and not hidden and once you do that then try and apply it again and it should work just fine all right so that's it that's a quick look at the animation transfer tool from cartwheel check it out it's really cool it really enables a smart workflow for you know if you just want to get some cartwheel animation onto your rig this takes the worries and concerns out of that it's very simple to easy to use check it out let us know what you think and happy animating